The part of this right here damage, as you can see, uh, was from the sewage backup line over here. If you walk on all these boards here, you go in completely. Oh. Uh, in order to fix this, we're going to take all the cabinets out and to fix here. And then the, this is uh, part of the damage. The other damage is coming from here that we've already started working on. Okay. We had to take up this entire floor here uh, due to the water heater over here in this corner. Hey, Chris. Yes, sir. We've got water leakage. Yeah, I know. That's what you're going to have to okay, we've had tons of water issues and leaks. Here, we replaced the water heater, and we had to go in and do this whole floor over again. My name's Ross Campbell from Oak Hill uh, Baptist Church in Jonesboro, Tennessee. Okay. Uh, we're, we're working on Joan McLean's house. Uh, basically, what we've done, we started on Tuesday uh, working on her flooring in her kind of closet area uh, that leads into her bathroom and her bedroom. Um, the water heater has been le le leaking for several months and has uh, made uh, incredible damage to the floor, uh, parts with molding, uh, several water damage areas. So we had to repair the whole floor, take it up uh, down to the support beams and we're running a new floor. We uh, provided a brand new water heater for her, mm -hmm. uh, as well as there's a sewage backup line into the kitchen uh, that has damaged the kitchen floor as well. Uh, so we're in the process of trying to get that supported. Uh, we've also, around in the front of the house, we've uh, went ahead and did all types of landscaping things. Bought brand new flowers for her. Uh, we planted a flower garden for her in the front. Um, we're also in the process of building a brand new uh, front porch for her as well. Okay. We're going to do some painting and then whatever else we can do for her today. And uh, the next couple of days, we're going to try to do uh, as much as possible. Man, the experience has been awesome. Uh, the first day we worked on uh, shingles. Uh, we took shingles off a house and... Uh, very, very hot day. Uh, the youth have uh, never done any of that kind of work, but we were up there, uh, met a lot of adversity with weather conditions, uh, and just with uh, roofing in general, had uh, one of our leaders actually fall through the roof. Uh, just halfway is, a, is all right. Uh, pretty good fall. Uh, but <laughs> with any project, you're going to have adversity, especially when you're trying to serve God. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did that the first few days, and we came over here working with Joan. Uh, we've met a lot of adversity with the floor, with water and issues. And uh, we're also working on another project uh, about five miles down uh, for another lady. We're replacing her uh, tin roof for her porch. Oh. And uh, one of the leaders also has fallen through there as well. Oh, no. Yeah, so it's, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of trips. Uh, no one's been injured yet. So. Okay. Is she in need of your all's assistance? Or was she in need of this work? Uh, very, very much need. Uh, doesn't have a lot of financial uh, for herself. Um, she has a heart condition. Uh, so she takes a lot of medicine for that. Um, she's a very humble lady. She's been a part of our youth here. Uh, they've been doing a lot of talking about Bible. And uh, her floors, when we came to assess the situation, it was us almost falling through the floor. Talk to me well, about what, what it has meant to you to do this. It means a lot to me because we get to help people and have the chance to attempt to bring people closer to Christ. And not only do we get to do that, we get to meet some amazing people around here and we get to have the joy of repairing things and having the experience of learning what real hard work is and experiencing what others go through worse than what we have. So in my point of view, it makes me really appreciate what I have and that I, um, I'll pray for these people and hopefully that everything will get better. When you saw the, the condition of the floor and the overall condition, what did you think? I thought, oh my lord, this is this is something I've never seen this before. It was overwhelming at first, but I think like together we did pretty good on it. So far. yeah, you walk in and the whole floor starts sinking in. And you think, oh, I'm gonna fall through. <laughs> yeah. Bam, 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 bam. That helped me. Like replaced the water meter. We replaced the floors. We got a new bed. We got a new bed. And what would it have been difficult for you to do this work without their help? Yes. Sir.